In this video, we will show you how to uncover the top keywords for a specific niche using Helium Dense Cerebro tool. This advanced strategy will help you to optimize your listings and drive more sales for your Amazon business. If you want to try Helium 10 tools for yourself, you'll find the link and a special discount in the video description below. In today's fiercely competitive marketplace such as Amazon, identifying the top keywords that drive your competitors' sales is crucial for success. These keywords not only enhance visibility, but also help optimize your listings to attract the right customers. By understanding and leveraging this information, you can strategically position your products to outperform rivals and capture a larger share of the market. Hi, my name is Nikki from Orange Click, and for today's video, I'm going to show you how to get those best and top effective keywords that are guaranteeing your competitors a higher sale each time and how to uncover those low-hanging niche keywords that are used by your top niche competitors and how to use that to your advantage to optimize your product listing strategy. This is an advanced Cerebro tool usage which is good to add to your keyword research strategy. Stay tuned in the end as we also show you a bonus tip on how to get those best keywords you see another strategy using keyword and keywords track tool by none other than this ever dynamic Amazon seller tool such as Helium 10. Cerebro is a reverse async lookup tool that is able to pull up very detailed keyword data that is not visible on the Amazon front end. With this very powerful data, you can sort, analyze, and filter keyword data to find opportunities. When you search for keywords, Cerebro provides a few crucial data points and metrics. First is keyword distribution. This section is the breakdown of total keywords into organic, sponsored, and Amazon recommended keywords. Next is word frequency. This section collects the main words that appear in the search results. The numbers after each word show how many times every word appeared alone or as part of search phrase. Next is search volume. It shows the estimated monthly search volume of a particular keyword in the list. Next is Cerebro IQ score. The IQ score shows competitiveness based on search volume and competing products. A high score typically shows a potentially high number of searches compared to the number of competitors. Next is sponsored ASINs. These are the number of sponsored ads using the keyword. Next is title density. These are the number of top ranking products with keywords in the title. Then keyword sales. These are estimated monthly sales driven by the keyword. And lastly, competing products. These are total products ranking for the keyword. Now let's start on how to get the top keywords from a group of top ASINs or products in our niche. We start by typing our seed keyword in the Amazon platform. Make sure that it clearly describes your product. Our product, for example, is a coffee distributor and tamper. This is in the niche of coffee making or for coffee enthusiasts. So this is a coffee making accessory. Let's run an X-ray product research tool to see the overview of the performance of this niche. We can see here that even though that the search volume is at 271, the total revenue of the niche is at 365,111 with an average monthly revenue of 7,939. Average price is 26, which is right in the profitable knob of viable entry product if you are going to sell something very niche on Amazon. Average reviews are under 500, which is very good considering coffee business is a huge category and market on Amazon. Now let's start the process of selecting our top competitors. But before that, we have to hide those ASINs that are sponsored or are ran by PPC campaigns. We would only like to see those that are ranking on page one organically. You can either choose one of these criteria to select your top competitors. First is based on highest reviews and second based on highest revenue. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to select my top competitors with the highest revenue as I'm keen to find out what are those sales driving keywords that they are using that has been successfully driving them to get more sales each time. So I'm going to make sure to add those competitors that are looking the same as my product, which is this one. So at least the size should be the same, which is 53.3 to 54. So here it goes. So I'm going to add first my ASIN and then the other nine competitors. So we have 10 
all together. Then what I will do next is to click Run Cerebro here and Helium 10 Cerebro will basically pull out the keywords from those top competitors that I just selected and what I will do is to exclude variations. So only those keywords that are really used in these particular ASINs will be pulled up or gathered by Cerebro. So how can we get the top keywords here? So if you can see in the filter library here, you will be able to see the opportunity keywords and the top keywords. Now, this is a one-click filter by Cerebro tool, which is a very cool feature, which will get the main keywords commonly used by the competitors, which has a substantial search volume and and are used mainly by all of these top competitors. So with clicking here, we now have three keywords that is used by these top competitors. So if we want to get more keywords from that, because the filter that was used here is um, 500 for search volume, top 1 to 40 in ranking 6 competitors. What we can do is to tweak the existing filters to get more keywords. For example, our minimum search volume should be at 300 and we say ranking competitors would be up until 4 and I'm okay with a competitor rank of 1 to 40. So let's apply the filters and we will now see that we have now 12 filtered keywords. Now you have all these top keywords you can use based on the data that is going to be presented over here. As you can see, the relative rank, which means the amount of ASINs that are ranking on the first page of this particular keyword is 9 ASINs. It really tells you that this coffee distributor 54 millimeter is a top keyword. Next is this one which 8 out of the top 10 competitors that I have selected is ranking on the first page and let me just change this. Okay so now I will be seeing the highest to lowest. So now I have these very strong top keywords that I should also strive to rank high because like for example comparing with other competitors or other ASINs in this particular keyword phrase we are ranked 9 out of 10. Our ASIN is in bold here, so we are ranking 34 organically with this keyword phrase. So what we can do is to strive to rank higher in order to get more sales because this is one of the top keywords that is being used by our top competitors. You can see here as well that competitor performance score is also a measure of how successful the listed competitors are as a group for the given keyword which means for this keyword the group of ASINs that are competing for this product is performing really well. However for this stamper tool as peso it's quite low so there's an opportunity here because not all of the competitors are ranking or are not successfully ranking high in this keyword phrase as you can see here um, our ASIN is ranking at top 94 and the rest only three competitors or three ASINs are ranking within the top 10 so the ranking performance of these ASINs for this top keyword is low so if we are going to put efforts into ranking high on this keyword phrase, then it's going to be a good strategy to get more visibility because our competitors are not successfully ranking high on this. So by analyzing these keywords, you'll be able to see just how powerful these top keywords can be used. And what's good about Cerebro is that it's going to give you the amount of weekly sales to achieve in order to get higher ranking that will be attributed to your higher ranking. So that's how easy it was to get those top keywords that will guarantee you a bigger sale and more visibility. Just by tweaking some of the filters here, for example, let me say I want to see a minimum of 5 and a top 1 to 50 competitor rank. Then more top keywords are being added here, which can greatly help you select which keywords to use by the amount of opportunity and the trend of the search volume as well that it has right now. So for me, looking at this keyword research alone, 
Tamper Tool Espresso is one of those top keywords that I would definitely try to run a PPC campaign on to get more visibility and try to get a higher organic ranking as well as this 54 millimeter distributor and distributor espresso and espresso leveler as well. Now we are done with a Cerebro top keyword strategy. We now move on to another cool feature from Helium 10 called historical trend. What this tool does is it lets you view the history of keywords for which a product has ranked for both organic and sponsored ads. How is this beneficial for you as an Amazon seller? Because data is always the king on Amazon. Whether it is current performance of a niche or group of products which Cerebro provides and we can also draw our attention to historical data of those keywords. It gives you more insights as to your competitor's strategic use of keywords and you may start to see some patterns. When do they heavily use keywords on PPC campaigns and when or how far do they go with their organic reach? We can now have an insider information on how each of your competitors keyword strategy by looking at historical data. Join me as I walk through how to do it here in Cerebro. So I did a reverse async on one of my top competitors and you will just have to click on this button here that says show historical trend. Cerebro will pull up the last 24 months worth of keyword data on how these keywords are performing through product ranking wise for organic and sponsored ads. What's cool about this is that everything is easy to digest. If you're new to this, it will visually show you in color graph how many words were used for sponsored and organic ranking and what type of paid traffic do these competitors use, either sponsored brands, sponsored product, and it really gives you a lot of information insights. So you can start to analyze the peak months into which this product was heavily doing PPC campaigns by the use of more sponsored product keywords here and maybe leveraging more traffic to the product listings for prime days or special occasion if the product is more in demand for a particular season. As you can see here, July of this year marks the highest peak of usage of sponsored and paid traffic. It may be because of Prime Day which was in July of this year and the strategy was to run ads even a month before the actual Prime Day to keep the ball rolling to the actual Prime Day. But some months as you can see from the past data that they have not been heavily relying on external traffic for sales which indicates that you can learn from this strategy and adjust your budget for running campaigns during these months that organic ranking is enough to keep the sales running. There are a lot of insights here on hindsight on how your competitors are faring through organic keyword ranking and sponsored ads usage. Now trying another top ASIN competitor and we will click show historical trend here. We can see that this particular product has just started and as you can see that on September they used or relied heavily on organic ranking and with a minimal usage of sponsored products. But what's another new thing here that we can see is that they're also using sponsored brand header. So it can give you a lot of insights on how they are doing their PPC campaigns and where do they use their keywords. So here you can see that they are using it in sponsored brand videos and sponsored brand header, which for me was effective for them to get the top spot that they are currently on. That is why they are gaining much sales because they have been doing some external traffic and paid traffic with a mixture of these things. They are distributing keywords from sponsored product ads, sponsored brand header ads, and sponsored brand video ads. So this gives you an insight on how to distribute your keywords as well on these keyword ad campaign types to get those effective visibility as well. But as you can see, when they are successful, you can see here that they are reaping the benefits of those PPC campaigns is because now they are having more organic rank keywords and are now just not relying heavily on paid traffic. You can see here as well that even though the, the Prime Day was July this year, they did all the legwork on June a month before and just ran a minimal or enough PPC campaign during the month of the Prime Day. By effectively leveraging your competitor's top keywords through strategic research with tools like Helium 10, like Cerebro, you can significantly enhance your product's visibility and drive more sales. With the right approach, 
This insight transforms keyword data into actionable strategies, positioning your offerings for greater success in a competitive Amazon marketplace. If you want to try Helium 10's all-in-one Amazon seller tool to do more advanced and effective keyword research and keyword tracking, save big using our coupon codes in the description of this video below. Get 10% off any Helium 10 monthly plans using coupon code ORANGE10 or get 20% off the first 6 months using the orange M20 code. If you like the videos that we just made, don't forget to send in good vibes in the comments section and please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's Orange Click. For more updates about Helium 10 and other up-and-coming Amazon seller tools that will help you achieve your business goals. This is Nikki from Orange Click. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful to learn how you can find the best performing keywords for your niche product. If you want to use Helium 10 for yourself, you'll find the link below in the description. Also a special offer. I think there is like 10% lifetime or 20% for the first six months or something like that. So check this out. And if you enjoy our videos, don't forget to hit like and also subscribe to our channel for the future notifications about new videos we upload. And now I recommend you to watch uh, the whole playlist of uh, Helium 10 videos where you will learn more tutorials on how you can use this great software. So check this out.